Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to create blank images, black and white images and colored images and then we will learn how to create lines, rectangles, circles, different types of shapes and we will learn how to create text on images. So let's get started. The first thing we will need is the CV2 library and the NumPy library which is basically uh, a library that handles matrices in um, Python. So in order to declare our blank image what we are going to do we are going to write down a matrix an empty matrix of zeros. This is because your image itself is just a matrix of numbers. So if I have an image of 500 by 500, it just means that I have 500 by 500 values stored in a matrix. So in order to do that, we will declare our image using the NumPy library. We will use the NumPy zeros function. And we will say that our size of this matrix will be for example 512 by 512 now this has created our blank image so if we run this if we actually display this out we will see that we indeed have a blank image which is black in color now this uh, matrix right now is one channel so it means we can only store either black or white uh, colors or maybe we can store some intensities of uh, grayscale but we cannot store uh, any colors so in order to add the color functionality we will make it of three channels so now we have 512 by 512 matrix uh, with three different channels this means that later on if we add something on it we can define the color for it and we can even change the color of this uh, whole image as well so uh, next what we are going to do is we are going to see uh, the shape of this image so let's say we print image dot shape just to see that we are getting what we are trying to achieve so yes indeed we have 512 by 512 and we have three channels now one thing to notice here is that if I print just the image you will see that we have our values of zeros but we have a dot in front of that now this dot means that the values are float so it will have decimal places but when we are defining colors we don't have uh, decimal places we are actually using integers so normally our values uh, range from 0 to 255 and this is an 8-bit value so what we need to do is we need to say that the values inside our matrix should be 8-bit uh, integers so we will say that using numpy we will say we need unsigned 8-bit integers so if we run this again we will see that the dot is gone and now we have clean integer values so moving on we are going to color this whole image into a different color for example let's say we will choose blue so in order to do that again the the matrix the image itself is just a matrix so we will utilize it as a matrix so we can say that our whole image we want to convert their uh, numbers their channels to for example 255 0 and 0 so what this will do is this will change all the first channel which is blue it's because it's BGR it will change all of the first channel to 255 and then it will change the second to zero and the third to zero as well so if we run this now we see that we have a blue image now you might be thinking that why did we put this colon here now the reason for this is uh, if you remember from our previous uh, video we learned how to use uh, the cropping method 
by just using the matrix function. So if we wanted to crop the image, uh, we defined the Y first, for example, from 20 to 30. And then we defined, for example, uh, we need to crop from 60 to 100. Sorry, 60 to 100. Now, th this is my limit for the width, and this is my limit for the height. So if I run this now, so it only changed the color in that region. So what if we want to change the color of the whole region? For that, uh, for that functionality, we just put a colon that will say that we need to do it for the whole image. So moving on, we are going to learn how to create lines on an image. So the good thing is that we, uh, have, a, uh, we have a function in OpenCV to actually draw some lines. So I will remove this part since we need the image to be black. We will use the cv2.line function and we will say that we want to put the line on the image that we created before and now as you can see we need to define point one. Point one is basically your actual point one. So we will say zero by zero let's say and then we have to define point two. Um, let's say it's hundred by hundred and then we need to define the color now let's say we will make it green 0 255 five, and 0 and then we need to define the thickness of this line so let's say we will put 2 so now if we run the image we can see that we have a line coming from the point 00, zero up to the point 100 100 now if we wanted to go all the way uh, we can do that by just taking the size of the image by saying um, img dot shape we will say this is our width and img dot shape and this is our height we run it again and then we get our line right uh, in the middle diagonally. So the next step we are going to learn how to create a rectangle uh, using the rectangle function in CV2. So CV2 dot rectangle and again we need to define which image we are going to put it on and then we need to define its parameters. For example we can say 350 by 100 and then we need to define, uh, so this is the starting point. So this is basically zero, zero of the box. And then there is another um, uh, end point of the box that we need to define. So we have, uh, let's say 450 by 200. And then again, we need to define the color, which is let's say zero, zero, two, five, five, it will give us red and then we can define the thickness of this rectangle. So now we can see we have a rectangle. Uh, right now I think it's square because uh, the, the size is same. It's 100 by 100. So w what if we want to fill this uh, rectangle uh, completely with this color? So for that, instead of defining the, the thickness, we can say cv2. Dot filled. If you run that again, now we can see we have the shape completely filled. So next we are going to try out the cv2.circle function to draw some circles and we will define our image and uh, we are going to define the center point of uh, our circle let's say 150 by 400 and then we are going to define the radius of our circle so let's say 50 and then again we will define our color let's make it blue and then we need to again define the thickness of the circle 
So if we run this, you can see we have a blue circle and we have a certain thickness to it. And again, if you, if you want to make it filled, you can write cv2.filled and it will fill up the circle. We will leave this to a certain thickness. And the last thing we are going to do today is the, the text. So for that, we have cv2.putText. Again, we will define our image. Then we are going to write down the text that we want. So for example, we are doing a tutorial for drawing shapes. So we will say draw shapes. And then we need to define the position, the starting position of this um, text. So let's say we will put 75 by 50. And then we need to define the font type. So uh, OpenCV already has a bunch of fonts that you can use. So you just need to type cv2.font and then you can pick uh, any one of those. Let's pick uh, the complex one and then we need to define the scale of this font. So let's say we will put one and then the color. So let's say zero and 150 and zero and then at the end we need to define the thickness so now if we run this we can see that our text is displayed properly in the image where we actually aimed it to land so you can see here 75 and 50 75 and 50 and you can see the rectangle uh, the starting position is 350 and 100 is here and then 450 and 200 is here so this is it for uh, today i hope you have learned something new and i will see you in the next video